Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to translate word statements into math statements. We're also going to translate math statements into word statements, but we're going to use all of our operations. And remember, this is an essential skill for doing word problems. And I know word problems is everybody's favorite subject. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're starting your favorite subject today. What? Word problems. Oh, he's OK. All right, Charlie, let's get started right there. Translating word statements to math statements. Now, don't get scared. Here we go. The sum of x and 8. Remember, Charlie, the sum means addition. And the two things we're taking the sum of here is x and 8. There you go. Here we have the quotient of 49 and 7. Remember, the quotient means division. So the quotient of what two things? 49 and 7. Now, here we have the product. The product is the word for multiplication. So the product, we put a multiplication symbol here. And the two things we are finding the product of are 8 and a negative 7. And notice how the parentheses are being used. When you're multiplying by a negative number, you must put those parentheses there. Now, the little dot represents multiplication. We can use this other representation by simply putting an 8 outside of a parentheses. When there's an 8 or a number outside of a parentheses with no operation between the number and the parentheses, it's assumed to be multiplication. Now, here we have the difference of 6 and the product of 2 and 3. Well, what does that mean? So you've got to read it carefully. Okay, here we go. We start with the difference, which means subtraction. Now, what are two things we're taking the difference of? The two things we're taking the difference of, 6 and the product. So 6 and the product. So this part represents the difference between 6 and the product. Now, for the product, what are the two things we're taking the product of? It is a 2 and a 3. And that's a tough one there. Set to practice, read and translate carefully. Let's try this one. The quotient of 6 and 2 subtracted from negative 3. Don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie. The quotient means division. Now, what are the two things we are taking the quotient of? In this case, it's 6 and 2. Now, realize this quotient is being subtracted from a negative 3. So this quotient is being subtracted from negative 3 out in front. So there you go. Remember, just read slowly and translate carefully. These are tough. All right, translating math statements to word statements. Let's try a couple of these and we'll be done. Here, A plus B. We first define the operation when we're writing out word statements. So here we have the sum. And what are the two things we're taking the sum of? A and B. There you go. Here we have a quotient. X divided by 3. So here we have the quotient of x and 3. And that's it. OK. Now, negative 8 times 5. Charlie, is this a product, a quotient, a sum, or a difference? Product. Very nice there, Charlie. It is the product. Now, what two things are we taking the product of here? It is a negative 8 and 5. So there you go. And that's enough for today. We'll see you again soon, hopefully.